You can tell it's now getting cold. Look at that. Wow. And I'm still in shorts. I don't know why I put shorts on, it's freezing. Good morning. Well, it is a good morning for me, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, today what I've got for you is a bit of training footage and some eating, pretty much what I'm doing today. My calories have increased to 3,250 uh, because I need to start putting on a bit more weight. I'm just kind of stalling at the minute. So that's what you do. Whenever your weight stalls, you change it up. So what I'm going to do is going to take you through my day. When I eat, however, you know, I'm going to take you through a pool session, which is going to be very good. I don't really do many of the, them on these channels. Uh, I've got a new camera and I'm at a new gym, so that should be interesting. I'm just currently out on a morning walk and now I'm still getting 10,000 steps a day. Three 20 minute cardio sessions a week as well. In the last video you saw me, I was eating 100 squares bars in one hour. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. It's, uh, it was a tough, tough one. Today, whipping out another video, bit different. This is more of a day to day, how I eat when it's normal. So if you like these kind of videos and you just like me, then like this video, subscribe to the channel. I have also got a new camera, the Canon N50 Mark II. I'm currently just on my iPhone because I didn't want to bring my big camera out, just like walking around the woods. But at some point I will let you know when it's changed and just let me know if you like the kind of, the different kind of footage. I'm still trying to work it out. I'm not too good with equipment like this. At some point you will see the Canon Mark, M50 Mark II. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Meal number one. My favorite meal of the day. Ham and egg bagels. Mm. So having this meal just because I love it, good carbs, good protein to get in straight away as well in the morning, so I haven't had any in ages. Just a class meal, so I'm gonna go eat that now and then chat to you after. Last bite, best bite. I'm gonna turn this area into a little chat area. Uh, just sat on my bed really. I wish it was opposite way because of the lighting. Is much better there, but this way I don't have to hold the camera. But that's meal number one. I thoroughly enjoy that meal every single day. I don't really switch my meals up too much. They're quite ordinary because I'm quite stupid. Like I, I don't want to add more stress of thinking, oh, right, I'll have this today, go shopping for food and have different stuff every day. I like just to keep it simple, like going to the store and then I literally just run around. I'm done in five minutes. So I don't have to think about it because I know where everything is. It just makes my life a lot easier and I enjoy the foods I eat, which I think for time management is perfect. But there's no one else that's like thick. I'm not thick, like I actually am smart, but just what's the point of added stress? But I am going to show you the new camera. So the new setup will be in three, two, one. Bang. And there we have it. What do we think? Is the quality better? Yeah, I can like zoom in and zoom out. Look at that. I'm actually really happy with it. But yeah, that is, let me know what you think of the quality. I'm just going to try to make better videos with it now. And I think I'm just getting used to it. I don't know if I have to hold it here like that, talk like that, talk like that, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to go and do some work now on my laptop and I will meet you at my pre-workout meal and then some big fat training footage. I'm going to play around with this because I don't really know what I'm doing. Look at that bad boy. If you would not shag that, then you're lying. Mm. Banana jam oats, chocolate pretty. It's creamy. This is the best one I've ever made. Mm. Shag me. That was the pre-workout meal. So I had 100 grams of oats, 20 grams of uh, whey protein powder. It was chocolate orange flavor. I'm back on the phone, by the way, just because I'm charging my camera battery up just for the gym. So I had 100 grams of banana as well in there with some jam. Got a little pooch here. I'm gonna let him outside, actually. I'm gonna wait about 45 minutes now to walk up to the gym. The gym's literally like a two second walk up the road. I like to wait between 45 minutes to an hour for that to settle in. And then I'm gonna get into a dirty ass pull session. I need to buy a tripod still, so just excuse the angles. I will try and talk in there as well if it's not too busy. But it's a great gym. It's got a lot of Cybex equipment, which I love. So I'm gonna get straight into that. I will now meet you at the gym. I should be back on the 
normal camera. I'll see if it's a bit of a faff to work out in the gym, I'll just probably go back on the phone. Oh, I forgot to say, I'm also having a squares bar, which is quite funny because yesterday I did 100 squares bars in one hour. I'm violently sick because it was that bad. And now I'm craving one again, so I'm gonna have one for uh, Bo's workout. So that's added to the macros as well. So actually, I'll give you a bit of a taste test to see if I do throw up, because it'd be funny if I do. <laughs> They're still pain. Nobody safe. As soon as we step out the cage, we raising up. So just warming up with some lap pullovers first just to get the back nice and warm. I'm gonna be just doing three working sets here. So I will be working between one set between a five and nine rep range and then another set between a 10 and 15, no, two sets between 10 and 15. We just did a couple warm-ups now, I'm gonna get into the working set now. Between five and nine, really feeling that good contraction. This is the gym. Let's get into it. What it's gonna take, another S on our chest, another beat in the grave, we in the vein. We always switching it up, they can't predict what we say. Come out the cave, they see the blood on our shirt, they see the teeth in the face, they watching tape, still trying to figure us out. They think we came here to play, they seen the snakes, they trying to give us a curse, they want us taking a bait. Okay, we keep on dodging the ball. With that movement, what we really want to focus is kind of like two movements. Let me just do it in the mirror for you. So you focus on bringing it down and then in, right into that pocket. Down and then in. Got two more sets of that now, between 10 to 15 reps, a bit more higher rep range, get a bit more volume in. That's the first set done, got about seven, eight reps. So I'm gonna watch it back. Feel, keep the form the same throughout and then move on to the next exercise. So we are now moving on to the VR1 the pull. So we're using the neutral grip here. Grip on my other days, more rear delt, upper back action, but this one, I feel I can target the lats a bit more. So with this one, we're going for about two working sets of between five to nine and then one between 10 and 15. So we're going for a, one more set of lower volume. You know, I like to work in them kind of rep ranges a bit more. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. I will show you one of the working sets and then we'll move on to the next exercise. I'll give you a bit, a few more tips about it as well. We keep on saying Ole, blocking the way, thinking we flipping reverse, but we keep rushing the gate, stopping the rain. We know they sit on the throne, it's looking easy to take. We not afraid, we put the fear in their bones, ain't no more running away. They trying to chase, they trying to follow our steps, they trying to copy the way. Boy, that's your name, that's why they keep getting curved. You gotta stay in your lane, they wanna claim that we not giving them work. Like this is minimum wage, boys who crazy, why you keep feeding the beast? Okay, so probably overshot it there. I'm still getting used to all the weights and stuff like kind of what I'm working with. The set before felt fine. Six reps, so I've still got it in the rep range. What I'm gonna do is lower it by one. That was 85 kg, but I'm just gonna lower that now and then probably do another set, lower it again, more volume. I went for the same weight now and tried to get between five and nine. Would be a struggle, quality reps would be low. I'm gonna lower it by one, try to get between five and nine again, and then 10 and 15 and so on, so you know, it's simple when you do it like this. Get yourself some straps as well. Helps. So the JPG lap pull down. Really focusing there on getting that elbow into the pocket. Like I'm not just coming here. I'm driving it down, down by my side, really squeezing the side, properly feel it in your lats there. Great exercise, but I've got two sets here, one between five to nine, one between 10 to 15. I've got this, I'm gonna move on to a Smith and Row, which is just over there. Really single arm, squeeze down here, drive into the pocket, great exercise. Fans. I jumped in the ring and I started 
started swinging. Came from the jungles of drunken demons. Fighting them off in the Coliseum. Studied and learned how to target weakness. That's why your team would do better beefing. With someone else who was probably vegan. Touch me and lose every single finger. Touch me and watch how I turn the scene. As soon as you have the nerve to try to step to me, I will snatch your turf and manifest red sand. I will snatch your earth. You tried to breathe to see how the asthma works. We don't compete. I'm not in a class with earth. My boys are down the ball. If I say the word, the team is down the hall. If I call the third, what's happening? Best believe that a massacre. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. in the gym now doing some cardio but that was a great session sorry I couldn't talk like the last part of it boys just got a bit busy so I didn't want to be chatting to you for a minute still getting the steps in etc yeah I will see you back at home for the post-workout I am now back from the gym gonna have my post-workout meal which is a chicken baguette so nice and simple nice warm baguette I love French bread so I'm gonna have one of them now and also a chicken breast that I cooked up, it's about 160 grams worth. Again, get some good carbs in, and then get some good protein in just after you work out. Replenish your stores, and also you need your protein in after the meal. But look at, I'm looking, wow. Even oversized stuff, I'm like starting to fill it out. Shee, that's how we go. Just cooking up the baguette now, and then we will get to the meal. I'll show you what it looks like. We've also got the pooch here. I need to try and work out the lighting all on this, but I think the camera quality is like a lot better by watching it back and stuff. And it also transfers quite well. Oh, I'm talking rubbish. You don't even care about this. Let's go get my baguette because it is wham. And there we have it. We have the chicken baguette. It's just a nice and simple meal, really, but this is nice and warm. I cooked it perfectly. So all the calories and macros will be on the screen again. We're just going to eat that now. I've also got some, like, French red hot sauce. This is the goat sauce. Just on there, but really nice. Lovely post-workout meal, that's all you need. Good carbs, good protein. So I'm gonna eat this now, and then I will meet you at some point after. Dinner time. Big ass dinner coming down, going down. Got it all prepping, I'll show you what it is when it is complete. That is not mine, but yes. Let's eat, boys. And there is dinner. So we have 80 grams of rice, raw weight. 250 grams of raw weight pork mince and some sriracha, little bit of cheese on top. But that is, might look boring, but it's a very high protein and good carbs. Let's get munchy. So make sure I've got a bit of everything on, got mushrooms in this as well. Love the meal, so underrated, and leaves you really full. So I'm gonna eat this now, then I'll catch you, well after. I say that every time, but you know what I mean. So last meal of the day coming up, it is the same as my pre-workout, so protein oats again. We've got 100 grams of oats, 100 grams of banana, 20 grams of um, protein powder. We just haven't got any jam this time. So it's again, it's just a nice filling meal to cap the night off, really. Doesn't matter I'm having carbs, it's just a big hearty meal, just to keep me going, really, for the rest of the day, rest of the night. And I also sleep very well with this. So I have my meal about two hours before I go to bed, so it's currently eight o'clock. I have this now, wait two hours, and then I'll probably go to bed, just so I'm not digesting food as I'm trying to sleep. I won't show you how I'm making it, you know, I did that earlier, you don't have to see that all again. Give you a bit of a taste test, probably, and then we'll just cap the whole day off, really, and explain everything. Been a good video. Good eating, once again, bye, boy. And there we have it, the last meal of the day. Same as the one earlier. Let's eat this and then recap the whole day. And that is the video done there. It's currently the next day, but this amount of food is allowing me to gain weight at a good rate to maximise muscle gain, but minimise fat gain, which is obviously the ideal in a lean bulk. You know, you're going to put on fat, like it's just a fact, but we don't want to be getting absolutely just like so chubby because it's harder then to lose the fat in the cut, you know what I mean? And then you lose more muscle and blah, 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 blah. But this is what I'm currently eating. It's good protein. All the macros and stuff will be on the screen now. I hope you like the new kind of setup with it all. I'm going to just make it better because I'm still getting used to it. I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe to this kind of stuff. I've got some more food challenges coming up and also just a bit of a journey with these kind of stuff. I like to mix and match it. Like the video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.